Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today I want to talk to you about this jacket right here, which is a bulletproof flight jacket. And yes, we will take it out to the range, put it down range, and actually put some rounds on it to see how it works. Uh, this comes to us from a company called ZFI Incorporated, and uh, they reached out to me and said, we've got some tactical products. Would you be interested in testing some out? This jumped out to me because it's it's a flight jacket. You know, it looks like something you could just wear to work or wear around town, whatever the case may be. But obviously, you have a distinct advantage because it has uh, you know bulletproof protection. Now, the jacket has bulletproof protection here in the front, here in the front, and then on the back as well. Uh, nothing in the sleeves. Uh, but what I want to do is roll in some footage here so you can just see some different angles of what the jacket actually looks like. And then what I'll also do is we'll kind of talk about my experience of wearing the jacket. After I go through all those details, we'll be sending you over to Johnny from 180 Second Ideas, and he is going to actually test this thing out to see how it holds up against a firearm. Now the jacket is 3A rated, so it should be uh, able to stop a round from most handguns and also a rifled slug from a shotgun. So this is not built to stop all rounds of anything, but obviously it's going to give you an advantage in a very bad situation. Uh, this was an interesting um, product to have sent to me because right around that time everything was going down with the shooting in Las Vegas. Now that guy was using an AR platform, which this is not designed to protect you from. But, you know, it's just another picture of how broken and messed up the world is. And so any advantage you can gain just in everyday life in situations that, you know, you think is a safe situation, all of a sudden it goes downhill. It could be good to have an additional, you know, layer of protection. All right, a couple of the basic features on the jacket I want to talk about. Obviously, it's a zipper in the front. Um, we do have a pocket here, just a regular pocket with a snap. And same thing on this side. When you go to the inside, we do have an internal pocket here and on this side as well. There's an internal pocket there. Then you can see on the inside here, there's another zipper, which I've opened up, and that's where your bulletproof protection is found, and that's true on both sides here. So there's on the uh, other side, and that's where that is inside. So, you know, you're basically you're gonna have protection here on the front when it's all zipped up. It's gonna be pretty much, there's a little gap, obviously, but pretty much straight across your chest, and then on the back as well. So let me lay the uh, jacket down flat so you can see what the back section looks like as far as protection. Real quick here, I'll show you unzip this. And inside, the ballistic panel runs all the way up to your neckline and then all the way down to your waist. So it's going to be covering pretty much your entire back, which is great. It does have directions on the um, ballistic panel to say which side faces out, which side faces your body. Um, very simple jacket. Like I said, a couple pockets. You got the ballistic panels. And then, you know, when you close it up, some pockets on the outside. The one other thing is you do have a zippered pocket with some... Uh, options to put like pens or maybe a pen light here on the sleeve. So very basic, but obviously the major win is that it's going to be uh, giving you additional protection in a dangerous situation. A couple quick thoughts here. Um, first, I've worn this as an everyday type of jacket. I'm actually wearing it tonight. I'm going out on a date with my wife. We're meeting another couple to go out for dinner. Um, I'm gonna wear it tonight. I've got my hands in the pockets right now. They're comfortable, they do the job. I mean, when you look at it and when you wear it, nothing's gonna jump out to anybody and have them say, hey, that's a crazy looking jacket. What's, what are the special features? When you pick it up, you'll definitely know it is a heavy jacket uh, because you got all these ballistic panels in there. Um, but, you know, as far as if you have ever worn a flight jacket, it fits like your average flight jacket and yet, again, gives you the, the additional protection, so that's cool. Uh, what I want to do now is send this video over to Johnny, like I said, at 180 Second Ideas. What I did was um, the company ZFI uh, Incorporated sent me this jacket and they sent me an additional one just without the sleeves. Now, the sleeves don't have any protection in them, so you're not really losing anything as far as, you know, protection. But he's got the vest down in Tennessee, and he's going to take it out to the range right now to shoot at the panels and to test it out and give you his thoughts, and then he'll send it back to me, and we'll wrap this video up. Hey, y'all. When Tim asked me if I wanted to do a ballistics test of this vest, I said absolutely. Now, it's rated 3A. That goes up to 44 Magnum or a shotgun slug. We're going to start with 22, hit it with 9mm and 38 Special, then we'll get into some nasty G2 research, both the RIP and the T-Loss in 9mm and 357 Magnum, and then also do shotgun double aught. Now it's designed for all of that, but then we're going to push it beyond that with the 556, both in green tip as well as some tungsten. So pretty excited about it. Let's get it shot.
just put a huge number of rounds down range. Had a great time on the test. The fabric itself on the vest, it fared exactly as you would expect. It is tore up. The vest is completely destroyed on the outside, but not on the inside. There was not a single round of ammunition that made it inside of the vest, and that was pretty impressive. Now this is the outside of the three panels. There's a panel on each side of the torso and then a big one on the back and they all took damage of course, but not on the inside of them. Not a single round made it inside of each of the panels for what it was rated for. Now there's still a lot of energy that transfers into the panels, but ammunition certainly does not. Now for what it was not rated for, the 5.56, the 5.56 rounds went straight through both panels and no big surprise there. But overall it held up perfectly. I'm super impressed. The ones that went absolutely the deepest for me, surprisingly, were the 9mm. They went by far the deepest into the panels. I've dug out a bunch of the different rounds, and the shallowest were the 357 and the double lot buckshot. But overall, I'm happy with it. I'm impressed with it. Not a single round made it inside of the vest. I'm Johnny for 180 Second Ideas. Let's go over to Tim. Let's wrap up the video now. I want to offer you a couple final thoughts as we close things out. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing it now. You saw images of me wearing it before. I told you I was going to wear it for my date night when I went out with my wife. Um, it is definitely heavier than your standard jacket, but it's not overwhelming. You don't put it on and say, oh my gosh, this is like, you know, a workout just to put the jacket on and to wear it. It's heavier, but I don't find it particularly cumbersome. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but it's not overwhelming by any means. Secondly, you saw Johnny shoot it there at the range. Based on how the ballistic panels are rated, uh, it held up as it would be expected to. Uh, it didn't stand up against the AR-15 platform. That's not totally surprising, but it is good to know, you know, so you don't think, oh, well, maybe it'll work for that. It will not work for that. Uh, what I can tell you is that based on the testing Johnny did at the range with those particular uh, you know, firearms and the calibers he used, it did stand up to the testing that we did. We're not a professional you know, firearm company that's testing gear you know, uh, in a scientific lab, but based on our testing, it did what it was supposed to do. So that's what I can say about that. Um, for the average person, is this the jacket you want to wear? Am I going to wear this every day? I'm not going to wear it every day. It's not the type of thing I'll wear in all scenarios. It is nice to know though that I have a piece of gear that does give me an added layer of protection. You can see I'm wearing a pack right now. This is the Vertex EDC commuter sling bag and I'm going to step back from the camera, camera and then sling this around to show you this is just another similar product that will give you an extra layer of protection if you're in a bad situation. So just like this jacket's going to give you some extra protection, this Vertex sling bag will as well. If you swing it around to the front and then you open up this panel, it'll drop open like so and you can see I've got kind of this full covering and you can put a, a uh, ballistic panel in here and in here as well. So I just wanted to wear this to say, you know, just like this jacket gives you an extra layer of protection in a scenario where something goes sideways, this is a similar product and it can give you an extra layer of protection. So I would wear this jacket if maybe I was going to A, a location I didn't know that well. Maybe it's a town or a city I'm not familiar with and I want to just bring the level of safety up a little bit for me. This is, that's a scenario maybe where I would wear this jacket. Uh, secondly, maybe I'm going to a public place where there's a lot of people around. Uh, that's where crazy stuff has been happening you know, in very public locations these days. Uh, and so this gives me, again, an extra layer of protection. Again, not something I would wear you know, if I'm just like going out every single day, um, but it's nice to know that I have an option that will amp up that level of protection. So those are two scenarios that kind of came to my mind when uh, I thought about this jacket. Let's hear from you in the comment section. If you had this jacket, where would you wear it? Maybe you're the type of person who said, yo, I'd wear it every day, every single day. Why not? It gives me an extra layer of, of uh, self-defense and that's what I want to have. So let's hear uh, what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Just click that uh, show more tab. You can get more information about this jacket and the company and then let's hear your comments. I want to give a big shout out to ZFI Incorporated for sending this jacket and the vest along for review so Johnny and I could test it out. Big shout out to Johnny from 180 Second Ideas. I've got links to his channel down below in the description section as well. Go ahead and subscribe to his channel. Lots of good content, good camera work, smart guy, knows his stuff. Definitely want to encourage you to be a part of his community as well. Thanks as always for watching our videos here on YouTube. Please click that little red subscribe button and subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram and Tumblr as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.